Tonight, you have a chance to hang out with one of the leading authorities on bourbon and whiskey. His name is Fred Minnick, and he is with us via Zoom this morning for a chat. Fred, good to see you. Before we talk about your appearance today at Jungle Gym, where, tell me, where did you develop your love for bourbon? Oh, my goodness. Um, you know, when I was in the, I think I was, I've, I've loved bourbon pretty much the minute I could drink legally, right? But when I was in the Army, we drank uh, bourbon a lot. Uh, but it wasn't until after I got out of the military that I actually learned how to taste and learn to taste and sip versus, you know, drinking straight from the bottle. So I've come a long way. Uh, yeah, college way. is a whole different, a whole different thing. That's true. Now, Fred, you you've written three books about bourbon and whiskey, and last year you mm -hmm. listed your top 100 American whiskeys. So tell us your top five. One of them is Buffalo Trace. I'm not surprised by that. Yeah, so number one was the uh, was Old Stag. It was from their Prohibition series. Number two was actually uh, two different versions of Larceny Barrel Proof, which shocked me when it was uncovered. Ah. Number four was this little bitty tiny brand in, uh, in Nashville called Nashville Barrel. And also in Nashville uh, would have been Nelson's Greenbrier 15-year-old uh, rye. So those the, the top five... I'd put up against anything in the in the in the world, but there's you know three of them are very obtainable: the two larceny barrel proofs and the national uh, the Nashville uh, cash drink product. Yeah, are very yeah, that that old stag is a thousand dollars, but the larcenies are about sixty, which is a whole, whole lot That's easier right. on the wallet. Okay, so tell us about your event tonight at Jungle Gyms in Fairfield. You're going to be celebrating the release of the Irish Cask and Cracked Craft Collection. Tell me more. Yeah, so, you know, in Ohio, you all have this incredible organization overseeing your, your liquor department in, in the state called Ohio Liquor. And they're putting on this uh, event series throughout Ohio and tonight's at uh, Jungle Gems. They're bringing in master distillers from, from Ireland, and we're going to be tasting all of these really rare uh, whiskeys from Ireland. And, here's, and this is the craziest part, Sheila, is is that you can get a pour for 50 cents. What? Like you, you come in, yeah, for 50 cents, you can get a pour of incredibly rare whiskey from Ireland and talk to a distiller. The events are free to attend, so you can just come, but if you want to get a pour, for a, qu a quarter ounce, okay. it's, you know, it's 50 cents because so, so Fred, legally you can't get away. Let me ask you real alcohol. quick about that whiskey too, because I love Irish whiskey and there are so many good ones, but I live in Kentucky. I love my bourbon. What's special about this one that you're trying out tonight? You know, well, there's gonna be a lot. There's gonna be a couple dozens there, but what really makes Irish whiskey unique and very separate from, uh, from bourbon uh, is their use of unmalted barley. That to me, that's the one thing that always stands out. It's the only region in the world that kind of specializes in unmalted barley. Uh, bourbon, of course, is predominantly corn. Bourbon also goes into new charred oak barrels every single time, mm -hmm. whereas Irish whiskey is going into used barrels, and they're, they're not even beholden to the same law as using oak. They can use any type of wooden cask uh, okay. in Irish whiskey. So yeah. there's a lot of ways to get different flavors in Ireland. I got to wrap it up with you, Fred, but one more thing. I understand you're the co-creator of the Bourbon and Beyond Music Festival. Yeah, so I, amazing. The, I helped them put all the bourbon stuff together uh, back back in the day, and uh, here we go, here we go. This is we've been, gosh, this is year eight, year seven, year eight. Yeah, and and it's incredible the amount of talent they're able to get out there. What time today at Jungle Gyms, Fred? Uh, we start. We just double check because uh, I don't want to get it wrong, but I'm pretty sure we start at uh, we start at five o'clock. Okay, yep. it's five o'clock somewhere, and you got to get some Irish whiskey. Fred, thank you. Uh, cheers, right. cheers. Have a great time here in the tri-state. Cheers as you. Cheers as well. Cheers. And we'll be right back. Thanks for checking out Local 12's YouTube channel. Click the links and hit subscribe so you can be notified anytime we post new stories.